Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on Maya and this time we are going to learn how to create um, those tribals okay um, those tribals actually are uh, made from uh, simple pictures <coughs> of tribals uh, you can find them anywhere in Google uh, just type on Google switch to pictures and type tribal uh, tribal tattoos okay so here there are a few examples um, this is the one uh, I've shown you uh, it's this one oh no, sorry this one okay so um, this is what you actually need to do is take choose one of those uh, make sure that it doesn't have any extra uh, watermarks um, <clears throat> okay let's say we are going to use this land here so uh, open it now you can see that the picture is quite big so uh, this is what we need we need uh, the details to be um, <clears throat> uh, need the uh, <coughs> the pieces of this tribal to be big enough so uh, Illustrator will know how to uh, work with them. Okay, so I'm going to save this picture to image downloads, and <coughs> now I will minimize my Safari. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let's open downloads folder and right click on this picture choose to open it with Adobe Illustrator okay and <clears throat> by the way this this uh, tutorial can be used for creating any logos you found on the web so um, when you open the picture um, click on it once on the picture so again let me show you you can see the menu here is look like this and when I click it's changing to this menu and then you go over this uh, little arrow where it says image trace click on the arrow and choose black and white logo okay <coughs> so uh, what uh, illustrator do is uh, making the pieces look uh, bolder than they are okay so that way uh, uh, it's easy for her to uh, read all those pieces of uh, the tribal or any logo you have okay now click on expand and then illustrator will divide all those pieces uh, separately okay um, separatedly or something okay now go over file save as give it a name okay we'll call it lion and choose to save it somewhere on your desktop uh, one moment desktop save now you will get another new uh, dialog box uh, where it says version you have to choose to save it as um, Illustrator 8 file, okay, and then just click OK, and we finished here. Now let's open Maya. Um, by the way, this is the file, okay, AI8 file of Illustrator. Um, go over Maya. And the first thing I like to do is changing the wireframe to be smooth wireframe. So uh, expand the shading uh, menu and choose smooth wireframe. Then go over file, choose import. All right, and look for your desktop folder and 
the next thing before we choose the file is to uh, choose type of file okay so um, scroll down this menu here and choose Adobe Illustrator and then choose our line uh, file and import it okay so <coughs> after you import it you need to search for it so you can see it's here right now sorry uh, so what we will do we will take all of it and choose modify center pivot okay and then we will bring it somewhere above the grid uh, suppose it's a uh, safe area so uh, now um, <clears throat> click somewhere in the background to unselect those pieces and choose only the square which you don't need and click on tap on delete key on your keyboard and you have now uh, your logo in or whatever it is okay so in our case it's tribal tattoo which we want to make a 3D object so uh, at first we, we can have two problems one problem is unclosed uh, gaps or I don't know lines curves um, we need to make sure that most of the curves are uh, basically are okay and the other thing is that we actually have two um, two curves the same curves see you can bring them out and you can see that there are two curves here so actually it's for each piece that you have here and we don't need it but we will handle it later um, the first thing to do is switch here at this menu upper menu to surfaces choose surfaces and click on this bevel plus um, square okay now basically when you um, start from uh, res uh, from default setting for this uh, function the bevel plus function um, the bevel width will be uh, 0 0.1 thousand okay 1k and it's better to change it to 0 0.0100 because uh, the width can uh, make a lot of difference when you start beveling it so after you set it to sorry set it to 0 0.0100 uh, just uh, make sure you choose your uh, piece that you want to bevel and choose bevel so you can see my beveled this um, piece okay now you only need to tap on five to get a shader basic shader for it and now click on other piece and you can um, use the hotkeys in order to use the same function you less did so you can tap hold down the alt and choose and tap on Y so that way it will be easier for you to work um, now you see uh, it's like the last function I did uh, this is what alt Y is doing um, now we have we can have a problem you see that there is um, I told you that there are two uh, two different curves for each curve you see here so sometimes if you choose the other one um, the polygon will appear at the other side okay it depends on the same on this uh, curve you will select so if it happens just make sure you uh, reposition it okay um, you can do it the same from here just choose your curve and go over surface and bevel plus and that will happen <clears throat> uh, 
Alright. Almost there. Okay, there are a few little pieces uh, I need to bevel so there is the last one and that's it now you see that few of uh, of the pieces are not at the same line this is why this is because I chose probably uh, by mistake because uh, it's easy to uh, get confused between them so uh, just reposition it and that will be fine and now what you can do is actually look at it from the side choose only the polygons and bring them outside and then you will catch all the curves and tap on delete on your keyboard and they will delete it <clears throat> now just make sure you don't have any extra curves here and basically we are done with it so <clears throat> now you can do whatever you like uh, head color uh, it's very simple just catch all of them right click sign favorite material, choose bling <clears throat> uh, yeah, make sure it's white and you can add maybe background by using polygons but this is really your part uh, just do what whatever you feel like um, okay and see okay so this is how easy it is to create them I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy for you and if you have any question just leave a comment I will get back to you um, bye for now have a nice day see you at the next tutorial bye